one station making history every day. Chicago, Chicago. Now, Jake Hartford. everybody 508 8 past uh, the hour of five o'clock in the morning the awake with jake show up and running our phone number 591-8900 a little over three hours from now harry reed is going to uh exit a brothel in nevada and he's going to say that paul ryan hasn't paid taxes in 10 years but just in case it's Paul Ryan's not the VP for the, on the Republican side, Harry will try some other names, too. He's practicing right now. He's been up all night practicing various names of people who haven't paid taxes. Anyway, welcome, everybody. A lot we're going to get to today. Uh, the uh, George, Rom- George Romney, Mitt Romney, is expected to announce his pick, uh, his his running mate, At 8 o'clock, we're going to have that live. We will continue on to 9 o'clock, taking your reaction. Uh, And all signs point to Paul Ryan from Wisconsin, the man from Janesville. Uh, And it's being, uh, the announcement is is happening down in Virginia at the Nauticus uh, Museum, where the USS Wisconsin is. Uh, it, it made it, uh, this was, this kind of leaked out last night. And even though the Romney people, unless, unless this is a real, uh, head fake, it looks like it's going to be Paul Ryan. Yeah, I know. And we've checked, thanks to the Awake with Jake staff who has been working most of the night, uh, in Wisconsin... If you're in Congress and you're running for either president or vice president, you can still run for your congressional seat. So if he runs as the vice president's election with Romney and the ticket does not win, he can still go back to Congress as, well, as long as he wins the, his congressional election. It's different rules in different states, but that's the rule in Wisconsin. Anyway, 591-8900 is the number. Paul and Downers Grove. Hey, Paul. Yes, uh, I'm a Union State employee, and I, I've been thinking all along that Romney was going to pick Paul Ryan. And, you know, it's it's class envy that the Republicans hate us state employees because they, you know, all those Republicans didn't go to the public universities and work hard to get, you know, get the Union State jobs. 
It's, you know, that's why they envy us. And we're saying bring it on. Let him pick Paul Ryan, and we're really going to be motivated. We're going to really campaign against him, make him lose both his congressional seat and the vice president. Now, why are you motivated against Paul Ryan? Because he hates, uh, you know, public employees. He hates uh, us well-paid public employees. When did, he, public when, employees. when did he say that? You can tell it by his budget. He want, You know, he wants to cut all the public services, just make make it so that all the money goes to that top uh, fraction of 1%, you know, and he's... How does, how does the budget do that? It, he, it's a real austerity budget, you know, he's not... But how does the money, but how does the money come out of the pockets of the public sector and go to the top 1%? How does, how does that transfer happen? Because they won't have the cut, the, roll back the tax cut for that fraction of top 1% for the super wealthy, where that you need that money to run the government. They, you know, the Obama and the Democrats want the tax cut. You know, for the ninety nine percent of us, the teachers. But, they but, want they, they, Obama wants to stick it to the teachers in Chicago, doesn't he? No. Yeah, he does. No. Yeah, no. he wants to stick it not only to the teachers of Chicago but of the suburbs too. <laughs> no. No, you know this all has to do with it's wait a minute, you, you, wait a minute, involved. hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Are you saying Obama doesn't want to stick it to the teachers on the taxes? Uh, yeah, I am. Now, how could you say that? Because this all has to do with federal funding. If we needed, to wait, wait a minute, hold it, hold it, hold it. Hey, hey Paul, hold on. So I'm I'm confused here. So if you've got two teachers who are making. And they're married, and they're making two hundred fifty thousand dollars total in their family or more. They're not going to have to pay the higher taxes that Obama wants to put in for the rich. You're talking about if they were teachers that are in the top one percent. Yeah, if there if there's two teachers, they're each making one hundred twenty five thousand average, and their their family income is two hundred fifty thousand dollars. Are you saying that Obama is going to exempt them from the one percent tax? No, if they're in the top one percent, then they would pay their share. So but, they're so they're going to you know what? so wait so they're going to get their taxes raised. So he's sticking it to the teachers. No, you know what? Wait a minute, is he is he or is he not going to stick it to the teachers? Well, let me explain why not. You know that the, are they not going to pay taxes under the Democrats? When the more that the wealthy people, the what, more taxes, that, which are the, wealthy, the teachers, which are the teachers, which are the wealthy teachers, right? No, the more taxes the wealthy and the corporations pay, actually under the Democrats. They actually make more money. How much does Exxon pay in that's taxes? What, you know, how much what? is it, how much is Exxon pay in taxes? It, that, 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 that's irrelevant. Why is that irrelevant? Because you're you're trying to talk about you know with the you just mentioned the corporations, the greedy corporations, and they're right. not paying tax. How much is Exxon what, pay in taxes? And what they've shown is that the more taxes that they pay, you put money in the pockets of the working people and that's why under the democrats how much does e how austerity. much how much you want to raise taxes on the teachers okay you want to screw the teachers paul i'm with you on that i'll agree oh, with you well, I agree, one i'll agree i'll screw the teachers like you want to do I'll, but, i'm with but you actually, actually, but but as far as like exxon how much should corporations pay percentage of their of their net profit roll back roll back that tax cut for the Top one percent and make them pay their share and actually what is the sh what is money. what is the Exxon share? Tell me what the Exxon share is. What percent, what percentage of their their profits should they pay? You know you're you're trying to play trivia. I'm not playing trivia. I'm asking you. You want to raise taxes? I'm asking you how much. Roll, roll it back to to what they paid before Reagan. What was that? It did, you know the exact number doesn't matter. Yes, the exact matter did, does yeah. matter. How could you come and say you want to? The well, corporations are greedy; they're not greedy; they're not paying their fair share, and you have no idea. Well, I know that before Reagan, we we didn't have that, uh, you know, deficits, and and we that has nothing to do with them. that has nothing to do with the taxes. It has how much you're spending. Maybe if we weren't spending so much on the greedy public sector employees like you, Paul, maybe we'd be a bit better well, off. We're spending where we're spending it is rolling back that tax cut for the top one percent. That's where we're spending it, and that's where Ryan wants to spend it. Under their plans, actually, the the average, the middle class. Okay, let me ask you. Right, more. Okay, let's let's get right to it. Which Democrat and what's the Democratic plan to save Medicare? Oh well, that would be Kucinich. Is Kucinich going to be around? Is, all, is huh? Kucinich going to be around after uh, the end of December? 
Uh, he, well, he will definitely be around. He won't be in the office, but he's good. But he's uh, he is forming an activist group. All right, and and he's going to be around fighting for the same things that he's been fighting. I all hope along. he I hope he agrees with you on sticking it to the teachers, Paul. Well, if they're in the top one percent, I'm sure he would us. Bye bye. All right, <laughs> there you go. There you go. I think he's the Obama chairman for Illinois. Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> it's, uh, I, it's enjoyable. <laughs> you know, Medicare, I, don't, I, I know by the end of the day, you will see people on TV and they will tell you all oh, this. I don't, I don't know why Mitt Romney picked Paul Ryan because he's got this Medicare problem. He wants to kill Medicare. Oh, geez, why would they? And I'm always, I'm always amused that Democrats go on TV and are so concerned about how the Republicans, what they're going to do. Oh, gosh, I can't believe they picked Paul Ryan. Oh, you guys are going to lose. Why would you do that? He went to kill Medicare. You know what? If if Paul Ryan didn't have a plan, and nothing happened, Medicare is going away in 12 years. Those... Ask, look at the trustees report. Medicare is gone in 2024. If you're 52, 53 years old and you're looking towards Medicare when you get 65, I wouldn't count on that that much. Uh, let's go to Arlington Heights. Paul, welcome to 89 WLS. Jake, how do I follow and act like that? Good grief. You know, my mind process is just going uh, haywire listening to uh, Paul from Browner's Grove. Unbelievable. So uh, if I could send out a personal note first, Jake. Uh, there's a friend of the show from Homer Glen. That's my friend Dan, also known as uh, the Great Wojo. Well, after 30 years of service with the company that we both work for, and he was my steward advisor for uh, various times, yesterday was his last day of work. So a happy retirement to the great Wojo. So now he's going on the public dole? Is that what, what's there, going there on? Yeah, go. yeah, yeah, yeah. Now he can be uh, Paul from Downer Grove's friend. So, uh, Jake, I, I couldn't help but notice that uh, on one of your social media sites that you mentioned the fact that you think it's going to be Dick Cheney and not Paul Ryan mentioned there. Okay, I guess class. I was wrong, okay? Uh, all right. <laughs> all right. <laughs> we all can make money. Now, if you could clarify me uh, for this. You were saying that uh, your show is going to be extended an hour, or are you going to come back at 9 o'clock? No, I will. It, this show will extend till 9 o'clock. Paul Very Bryan will, uh, will join me at 8 o'clock. Uh, we will have the uh, live uh, announcement by uh, Governor Romney uh, on his vice presidential pick. And right now, all indications are it's Paul Ryan. And then we'll get reaction from everybody. Very good. All right. And one last thing for you, Jake. I have good news and bad news. I don't know if you happen to see your social media site. Uh, I posted yesterday a picture of me with Ro Khan. And on July 27th, when I went to, to his live show in Rosemont at the Zanies, I collected the $5 that was owed for you for so uh, for so many years. You got my $5 got, back from him? I got your $5. That's the good news. The bad news is this. He gave me a tip. He was telling me that him and Ron Majors have a horse that was running at Arlington Park. Uh, later that week, okay? He says, it's a sure thing. I went and I, I put that $5 on that horse's nose. Jake, the horse won. The bad news is when I went to the uh, uh, ticket agent, I gave him the wrong number for the horse, and the horse won, but you didn't collect your money. So I'm how much? Sorry, how much did their horse pay? I think uh, on, a, on a $2 bet, I think it was a two sixty. So you owe me, let's see. <laughs> yeah, I guess you're right. Now. You well, next me, time I see you, Jake, I'll pay you off. How's that? You owe me six fifty. All right, Jake. Thanks, Paul. <laughs> All right, bye bye. Yeah, how about that? Even when I even when I get the five dollars back, I lose. Uh, Dave in uh, Glenview. Good morning, Dave. Welcome to eighty nine WLS. Thanks, Jake. You're a great person. Hey, you know Jeffrey Immel, who owns GE, made about $5 billion last year. He's our number one job star here in this country on the Obama administration. He didn't pay a dime in taxes. How does that work? Are you talking about him personally or the company? The company. Uh, you know, there's some controversy well, about that. Paid, I don't think he's paid taxes for 10 years either, a friend told me. Well, you know what? They've... <laughs> Harry Reid, did Harry Reid tell you that? I think the same guy told him 
about Ron, he told me about Immo. Yeah, so it's the same guy, yeah. I don't, GE, it, it's, it's not really black and white on the tax issue with GE. They paid a lot of different taxes, but they also took a lot of write offs. Well, I mean, it's closed plants in Wisconsin last year and moved to China. I mean, you know, let's call it the way it is. Yeah. Pretty sad. Go around me. Have a great day, Jake. You're a great person. Thank you, Dave. I mean, that's the problem with the, the whole tax issue. GE has, like, what, 140 some accountants? They do nothing but work on the tax return. And I forget how many thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of pages it was. But they play by the rules. You know, if, if the government says this is this is what you do, if you earn this amount of money or you, you spend the money for this or you don't spend it for that or or you, you can you can write it off over so many years and the government sets up the rules and, and usually the rules are result of a lot of lobbyists and lawyers and accountants and everything. I mean the most screwed up tax system in the world. Why do we have it? Because it keeps all the lawyers and accountants and lobbyists working and making money. It's a jobs bill. Not the easiest to figure out. But the, yeah, there was the, the, that, that was the headline with GE. But then there was some, if, if you really read the stories, uh, there was some explanations. But you'd be surprised what some of the major corporations pay in the United States. I know we love to hate them. They're our enemy. But you know what? They've got people working for them. They've got your neighbors working for them. You may be working for them. Do you like being, do you like being labeled an enemy of the country? And all you do is get up in the morning and go do your job? Huh? Anyway, 591-8900 is the phone number. 522 back after this on 89WLS.